everyone. Welcome to part two. Today's the day we gesso our glued pages. So we are going to start by adding gesso with a knife or a spreader and actually I forgot my spreader just a second. kind of a big spreader. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I put my gesso in one of these containers. Um, it's just easier when you want to, you know, pour it out on a surface. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it needs air. Probably does. That's all right. That's probably way too much anyways. So I'm just going to start spreading. And I'm not leaving it like this. We'll be using a brush. If you got the PDF download, you'll know what we're doing. Oh yeah, this is a lot of gesso. Ooh, That's like way too much, I think. Now you gotta put gesso wherever your fabric is going to be glued down. So. might help some of you. I'll just get I may have to remove some of this and put it back in this bottle because I, I do have too much here. These spreaders are great for putting back in the bottle. Now we are going to be gessoing these pages twice. So there is going to be a heat gun involved here and okay I think I'm kind of ready for my brush now. Set that off to the side because we are doing a few pages today. So I'm just going to start with a wet brush and I'm just working it in. Just work it in. <clears throat> and if you find, see this one is a little bit, just a wee bit on the dry side. So I just dip my brush in water and I'm adding more just to keep it moving so I can so I can manipulate it and I don't know if it's wet enough still. So I'm just going to get just a wee bit more water and Just going across the pages. Now remember when where like I want you to go your very last strokes that you put on this before you dry it. Remember which way they're going because you have to do it the other way on the second coat. I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so I'm just going to set that in my water. 
you guys are going to hear the heat gun. Okay. And I'm keeping it up. I just don't want it to dry that fast. I don't want to burn it, really. I should go in my water. Oh no, I got another thing to do. I'm just talking out loud, you guys. <laughs> Stop that for a minute. I should really wipe this off before it's all dried on and then I'll have a hard time on my second page. There. Okay. really wet. This side is really wet. This is what's going to take time is is your gesso. This is a project that you may want to, to do over a certain length of time and maybe not have it consume you. My book consumed me. I was rushing through it to get it done. That's why it's all twisted, because I wasn't paying attention. After we... After I turned the camera off, after um, session one, I uh, went and took my pages out because I don't want m any more mistakes gluing pages and I did glue some at the back so I've glued mm, two signatures all together at the front and I've I don't know how many I glued at the back no more than two This is drying up nice. And if you have spots like this that don't have gesso on them right now, that's okay. Second coat will get it. There's a lot of gesso that goes into this project. I have to tell you that because you'll be gessoing the fabric too. So be prepared for that. Your PDF will look different than mine. I up updated it. Um, Like when the pages are dry, we can begin to uh, add the gesso. That's like a new section all on its own. Sorry that you have to watch the gesso dry here. We're almost there. A 
okay I think it's dry enough however I do want it to like cool down just a little bit before I go to the second layer heat guns are are good but they they keep things hot for quite a while so I like it to cool down and I have a bit of a lump here that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work off just like that Okay, we're ready for our second layer. And I think I'm just going to open my open my jar. This is a plastic container actually. And I don't want to pour too much. But like that. And that's pro oh my goodness, I've made a real mess here now. Well, I'm gonna have Jessel fingers. <laughs> <laughs> maybe gesso in the jar isn't such a bad idea you guys don't do what I do well I thought I was going to save some time by using a, a little bottle like this but it doesn't work with gesso I'm hoping gel medium works better because I did it for that too so we'll see all right I'm just going to get my brush out of water and get it nice and dry it off here just so that it's damp don't want it to be too wet if we need to add we can so now you can just go just remember I finished this way when I'm finished the page I'll do it the other way but right now I'm just applying it so it doesn't matter whether you go left right crossways you can go any way you want but your last strokes should be in the opposite direction as your first okay you've probably heard this before maybe you haven't if you're new you probably haven't if you've done books before you've probably heard this before so I'm just <clears throat> and this this one you're you're gonna want to work fairly quickly because this is going to want to dry fairly fast and I have a long ways to go here <laughs> like it's quite a ways and this is this is um brother I need more gesso because it's um fabric or something here that's just eating it up so I'm hoping you can see it all I've got you really zoomed out and maybe I don't need to but I thought I should and the reason why we need to work fast is because once it starts to dry and it's good to the touch you're going to be using your hands in this okay and I think I'm I think I'm happy with this coverage because we're we are still putting fabric over this so that goes in the water the lid goes on this and now we're going to start to dry this I'll dry over here first because that's where I ended and it'll take a little longer than this one to dry but we need to work with our hands on this once it's not gonna fill your hands up you're gonna get some on your hands if you don't want to get dirty this isn't going to be um, a project you'll want to do because you're you're gonna get dirty this is almost, almost ready for me. This one is not. Well, I may have to, I may have to work this page anyway. So once it's not really bad, 
you can start. I'm going to shut that off for a minute. You can start working it in circles, okay? And it makes it beautiful. It'll make it a beautiful page. There won't be lumps or bumps or... And that's, what, that's really what we're after, is making sure there's really no ridges or, or lines. And um, I can feel that this page is just perfect even though it may in the in the viewer look like you can still see through it that's okay there's gesso on here two layers of it and that one I can't do yet it's still really tacky you'll know if your hands are dragging in it and pulling the, the gesso off that's not when you need to do it you need to do it when it's almost dry I'm going to start on this one. It's starting to dry up. kind of ridges in there. I don't like that because when I go to glue, see when you feel ridges in your in your page, like I've got, I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit, maybe you can see it. Right here, I've got ridges in there and my fabric will take on those lines. So I'm going to get my handy dandy sander if I can find it and it's usually in my caddy and it is I'm just going to see if I can't oh see what I did terrible so you know what that means I have to go back that sander has some stuff oh I see it's come it's no good <laughs> the sander is toast the sandpaper is toast, not the sander. Um, I'm going to have to get more sandpaper because we're going to be using sandpaper on our muslin. Okay, so I need, for myself, I need to add a little bit more gesso here to fill these up. I'm not sure that I have enough on there, so I'm just going to go again. All right, I'm going to sand or blow dry this.
Okay. So I'm just going in circles and it's just a little tacky down here. But I don't feel, it may look like there's ridges, but there isn't. It looks great. Or it feels great. So I have two coats of gesso on this page. And actually, um, I'm just going to turn the page and, I mean, is there a point of me showing you two pages when in actuality it's the same thing again so at this point this is this is dry um, you've got the step by step so you know you put two coats on and you finish with your brush going one way and then you finish the second time going the other way so I think at this point Instead of me completing two pages, like I'm just going to do exactly the same thing I've just done, that seems redundant. So, I think at this point we should just move forward and start adding the muslin. Now, I've prepared my muslin already. Except I haven't done, see I've torn, I've torn all my, all my pages are all my pieces. I, I haven't torn all the pieces. I tore this piece and it's too long as you see. It's too long. You don't see anything. Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking to myself here. Sorry you guys. <clears throat> I prepared this piece of muslin and yes it has a spot on it. I don't care about that. It's going to be just so this, this is going to be cut off anyway. Um, I just want to make sure that well, this is this has to go on exactly correct because I haven't allotted myself for any not too much rippage on the edges. So yes. So I need to tear this at the bottom and I'm going to give myself a little extra room. So what I do is I figure it out figure out where I want to snip it and I don't ever cut anything I tear it so I'm just going to give it a bit a bit of a snip there and if it's straight it'll, it'll be good and I'm going to grab the edges too <laughs> and the strings you're going to have lots of strings sometimes strings are nice um, I don't mind them later not right at the moment when you're gluing though now I don't know whether I turn this around or I just want to make sure I think I must have flipped it because it's not fitting the same nope maybe it's this way <laughs> Yeah, this is this is where I tore it okay <clears throat> so at this point we need to mix our glue just like we did and I'm just gonna take the lid off mine I'm not gonna fight with that um, I'm just gonna pour some in here if you can see that that's probably enough for that page really Put the lid back on. Now, I don't want it seeping through the fabric to the top, this glue, because if it does, it's going to leave a dark spot, it'll look dirty, and it'll be hard like a rock. So, be careful not to put, not to put too much glue on your pages. This is, this is a really I really I know it's kind of hard when you're first starting out and if you know what if you do uh, and it does seep through if you can pull that piece of fabric off I would just pull it off and put a new one on 
because or <laughs> I don't know I don't think even Jessa would stop the hard feeling of it so I'm going to pull this back to about there like that and I only like I haven't stirred this yet I only like to work half and then work the other half We may have to go to a part three, depending on, I don't know, I can't tell how many minutes this is already. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to start, okay, I'm just going to add some glue, not as much as the last time. Try to be a little bit tight with your glue now, and make sure you get all the edges really good. I don't know if I got enough glue on there. I mean, you have to have enough glue on. Otherwise, it's just not even going to hold. So, I'm going to add a little bit more. And I know you can't see how much I'm adding. I know this. I'm going to come in and scooch over so that you can kind of watch me. I have to scooch over even more there. Alright, so, you know, if you, if you keep working it, I just thought of this now, if you keep working it until it's tacky, like setting up, like I talked about before, I think that'll work. So if you have too much glue, you're going to have to keep working it until it dries up a bit, okay? And I think... I think mine's good, so I'm going to very gently, without trying to move it too much, because you don't want to pull it away from the other side, I'm just going to, my paintbrush is in the way, I'm just going to gently lay it down, and see I almost missed that corner, okay? <laughs> and the best thing is right now is your hands and then we're going to get the brayer your hands can tell really you can feel through that fabric and I'm just gonna really really hard get it down I'm going to pull this back probably a little further so that I'm going to overlap. Okay, I'm going to get some glue here and I'm going to spread it out a little bit and get some right in, right in the spine here. This first page is crucial, but it, you know, it's in the spine of any of the pages that you're going to do. It's crucial. That you get that glue in there and I can't even see my glue myself and you can't see what I'm doing either <laughs> wow I gotta be on top of that zooming in zooming out this is so wide but it's really not that big of a book it's just that my view my camera's not gonna allow it right <laughs> I want to make sure that the edges are good. I might even need a little bit more here. Get down here. So if you put two coats of gesso on your page, you should be able to go ahead and get your uh, fabric on your muslin should be able to put your muslin on too. That seems draggy. See, I don't want it to be draggy, but I don't want it to bleed through to the top of my, of my fabric either. So, 
uh, enough fooling around. I'm just going to move this over. Just like we were gluing the pages, right? And really work in that spine because it needs to open and close, okay? Use your hands first. It's a good thing. Always a good thing. See, I can feel that this is damp. That is for sure. But nothing's come through to the top. And trust me, you would see a dark spot if I had something coming through the top. So, I'm going to brayer this. And as you add fabric and two coats of gesso to your pages, they start getting thicker. So I want to make sure that this is good in here. And that's going to close good. I've got kind of a wonky, wonky kind of book. Yeah. Everything's good. Pull this back. My edges are good. Okay. So now, after it's dry, if you want to, um, you know, cut these off. I want to put that in water. Whoops, wrong. Oh no, that's right, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to get rid of these now. I don't need them. But as you can see, on this, well, I could have done it like this. On here, this is like really quite crooked. So I'm going to come in here now and I'm just going to leave a little, these aren't fabric scissors, so it could be, I don't want to tear it because it could come apart, right? It could come off my glue, and I think it has. Yeah, it has, so I'm going to have to get some glue in there right quick. Okay, so... It's not, it's not glued here. So I'm just going to kind of, oops, I'm not going to take that off. I'm just going to um, get another brush and get that glue in there real quick. Check. <clears throat> not right away because it's still damp. See, I shouldn't have done that. It's, everything is still so damp. Um, yeah. Wait until things are dry. You can feel that it's still damp. And I think we'll... We'll end it here, but I'm going to turn this over again, like I did before, and I'm putting heavy books on it, because that's the only way that they dry good. So, in the next session, uh, we're going to be putting gesso on the muslin. That'll be finishing the pages. So this will be a three-part series. And I think that that's great that you'll have this knowledge to go ahead and, you know, finish up your whole journal. Hopefully you don't have 100 pages. <laughs> if you do, you're going to be working at it for a while. <laughs> As you can see, it does take time. I hope you're enjoying this series. And we'll see you in part three. Take care. Bye for now.